Hello and welcome to Daily Devotions for Wednesday, June 24th. Today with us we have Robert Lynn, who's a member here at English. And um, I know, Robert, this past year you helped me with seventh grade confirmation, so he's a very brave and courageous person. I'm just kidding, I love my seventh graders. Um, today his theme is Centering Prayer. And his reading comes from Psalm 131. O oh Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me. But I have calmed and quieted my soul. Like a weaned child with its mother, my soul is like the weaned child that is with me. O oh Israel, hope in the Lord from this time on and forevermore. For I have stilled and quieted my soul. We live in strange times, surrounded by uncertainty. It seems no matter which way I look, some sort of public health crisis is looking back at me. Normal coping methods, such as spending time with all of you, have been curtailed. And in the most trying of days, I am unsettled and doubtful. The scripture that Pastor just read, Psalm 131, is my confirmation verse. It speaks of finding peace for our souls. More and more these days, I've been turning to spiritual practice to find peace in these strange times. I've been regularly practicing a form of contemplative prayer or centering prayer. The simplicity of centering prayer moves us from communicating with God by talking to simply communing with God, resting in God, allowing the Spirit to fill us. Moves us from knowing a lot about God to knowing God. Let me describe how to enter into centering prayer. Prepare. Avoid TVs and monitors for at least a half hour, if you can. I sometimes light a candle as a symbol of inviting in the Holy Spirit. Find a comfortable, supportive chair and settle. Be in a quiet place. Select a sacred word for your meditation. For example, peacemaker or gratitude a sacred word. Sitting comfortably with your eyes closed, settle in, do a brief body scan for tension. I always need to focus on my shoulders and relax the tension there. Next, focus on breathing. Breath is the medium of the Holy Spirit. As I breathe in, I focus on a point at the base of my sternum. As I breathe out, I focus on the breath at the tip of my nose. Breathe in, breathe out. Then begin silently saying or breathing the sacred word, the word you have chosen. Still your soul, still your mind. Listen for the spirit to fill the silent spaces with spiritual musing, with divine direction. Gently begin Peacemaker, peacemaker, peacemaker. When other thoughts and images come, be patient with the disruption. Gently return to the sacred word, peacemaker. I sometimes utilize a mantra, especially for those days when I need to quiet a busy mind. An example of a mantra is Maranatha. Four syllables, four syllables works well. Maranatha, come Lord. Breathing in, I silently say, Maranatha. And breathing out, breathing in, Maranatha. And breathe out. Another mantra that I use is the Jesus prayer. Breathing out, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. 
breathing out, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, breathing in, have mercy on me, a sinner. I generally set the timer for 20 minutes of contemplative prayer. That's about the right amount of time to discover heart presence with God. At the end of the session, you may want to close with the Lord's Prayer. Be still, my soul, the Lord is on thy side. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Leave to thy God to order and provide. In every change, God faithful will remain. Pastor, will you invite us into prayer? Absolutely. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, for this day in which you call us to be faithful to you with our words and with our lives. You have come to bring life and bring it abundantly. Your hand leads us. Your love sustains us. Lead us now from death to life, from hate to love, from despair to hope. Lead us to be peacemakers. Let our gratitude for your abiding love spill out into the world. Give us strength, give us courage for living of these days. And teach us to be still and know that you are God. Maranatha, come Lord. Amen. And now may God bless you on this day and always. Amen.